Hello, my name is Brett Bendistis, and this is a short video lecture on Lexis Advance. You can also use it for Westlaw or any other associated legal database. Uh, Lexis Advance is a system that allows people to search case law in a very advanced way. I often equate Lexis's impact on legal research similar to the impact on like fantasy football or let's say like shopping online. That's something that used to be very complicated is now very easy. I played fantasy football, which is like this you know, complicated game where you're associating point totals with, uh, you know, yards and touchdowns. I don't need to explain this too much. And we used to do it via the newspaper and then mail each other the answer. Now, most fantasy football stuff is automated at this point. It's made it so much easier. And the online shopping is like, imagine like going through a catalog, checking the boxes, mailing it in, and then getting it back. Now we just click buttons and everything kind of comes in, right? The idea of like the advantages of Lexis is that it is making law so much easier to get a hold of. Lexis has more law and it makes it easier to search. The hyperlinks that are available there make it a little bit easier to navigate between one case or another. We're not pulling books off a shelf, which is something that I did when I first started law school. And it's made shepherdizing easier. It's less expensive in a sense. You don't have to buy books and all that kind of stuff. So Lexis, good. We're gonna say Lexis, that's a positive thing. The disadvantages of Lexis, I mean, these are ticky tacky because I don't think anyone wants to go back to reading books again, but I do think that reading on a computer is somewhat frustrating. Um, it's more expensive in the sense that like libraries are free. So if you're ever finding that you don't have a Lexis account for certain jurisdictions, you can always go to your local law school and find something. And then certain very specific sections are hard to browse. I'm gonna cover them more in part two, but I just wanna note the fact that sometimes Lexis will sort of parachute you in somewhere and not allow you to sort of get the broader scope of something that you might get it more from statutes. The, the main crux of this lecture is making sure that we are going through individualized steps to make your, your searching easier. Anyone can use Lexis, right? I mean, that, that's the general idea of it is that like, if you are willing to waste a ton of time, you can use Lexis poorly for the rest of your life. I mean, like, I, I don't care, right? But I'd like to make it so Lexis is a uh, strength of yours, where like you're using it and you're knowing exactly what you're doing and why it's there. And that brings up a point to me of the title, which was Lexus is a dumb computer. Now you may have noted by my gender, age, and probably general appearance that I am a fan of video games. I have a PlayStation still, even though I'm 36 years old and I probably should just sell it at this point. But like a thing I've noted about video games, specifically let's say Madden, it's a football game that comes out every year, is when I start playing Madden, I'm always like, this is impossible, I'm losing by five touchdowns and I should just throw this away, right? The more I play, I note the fact that I'm like, oh, I just need to note the quirks. Certain plays work better, certain things are easier than others, and in around maybe like a month of playing too much, I'm always winning to the point that it's not fun anymore. That soccer games, wrestling video games, baseball video games. Again, it's a process of like, a computer is only so smart. You are always smarter than a computer. You, you are always smarter than a computer. So relying on the computer to do your research for you in something specifically with the natural language tab above is not taking full advantage of what you're doing. If you know what Lexus is, it's better to sort of cheat the system. And that's what I really wanna cover here is how are you able to cheat the system to get the best research possible? Now, the first thing you wanna do with Lexus, select your database. If you're looking for cases, make sure you're in the right spot of cases. Make sure you're in the right state. One key thing I wanna note is noting the difference between state and federal law is of the utmost importance. If you are dealing with a state issue, only research state law. Do not tab in federal law thinking, oh, who cares, I'll get extra law. Because most federal law is going to be very unrelated and more distracting than it is helpful. So if Lexis says, hey, I'm going into Delaware law, and they say, would you like the federal law? Just say no. It's just gonna save you the time and energy. And again, the point here is making this easier for you so you know what to expect. The second tab is the most important, which is finding the correct search terms. There's two different ways that you can search on Lexis. There's natural language and terms and connectors. Natural language is you would basically ask Lexis, what are the elements of conspiracy, right? Just what are they? And then Lexis, a dumb computer, would give you 100 responses based on what it thinks your answer is. Now for that very specific example, sure, right? I mean, again, Lexis will give you the elements and that's perfectly fine. 
I should note though, is that you are asking Lexus to do your work for you. You are smarter than Lexus, it is a dumb computer. So the terms and connectors takes a little bit more time to get, but I promise you that if you get better at it, Lexus will be incredibly easy and very fast uh, to learn. So. We're gonna go over a hypothetical here where someone is arrested for driving under the influence. They're found asleep in the passenger side seat of the car. The keys are outside along with the cell phone. Doesn't remember driving, he's at a party, he's too drunk, so on and so forth, right? So the idea here is that we want to understand what does it mean to be driving for purposes of driving under the influence? What does it mean to be in the passenger seat? What does it mean to be in the keys? Now, if you just put in natural language, what is drunk driving? You're gonna get everything under the sun. The key thing is we wanna limit our answers to 10 to 15 at max. If you're getting more than that, limit it because what you don't wanna be doing is getting law that is unrelated. It's frustrating to get up against a brick wall or to get too much. So the key thing is here is maximizing your results. There are three, only three in my opinion at least, key terms and connectors that are worthwhile to sort of be used. Um, they are uh, the uh, terms and connectors with the structure. There's also root expanders, and then there's quotation marks. Now, the one thing I really want to note about this, and I think it's an important distinction between, again, that natural language and terms and connectors, is that Lexus will only give you what you ask it for. Now, that seems simple, but think about that for a second. Lexus will only give you what you specifically tell it to give you. The, hype, the kind of a tangent that I have is like, so my wife orders a lot off Amazon. She got Amazon Prime and like went, went crazy basically. And would one time she, the Amazon was like, we delivered something and the box never showed up. So we just, well, what do we do, right? So I go to Google and just type in, what do you do when Amazon says something's delivered and it's not? Google, being very intuitive and being a smart computer, gave me the articles that are necessary. Lexus is not that smart. So Lexus isn't going to give you those things that are there. So making sure that you're very asking for things that are very particular is really important. This first one is the absolute most important. This is the best advice I can give you regarding um, the Lexus searching and the terms and connectors in general because they should set the stage of how you search. The terms of your, the, the structure of how you put something into that toolbar at the top should be term, space, connector, space, term, right? So word, a, a connector, and then another word. So drunk backslash S driving would have a space in between those, no space in between backslash S, uh, backslash and S basically. So what backslash S is, is that the two words both preceding and following the connector are in the same sentence. Uh, backslash P is same paragraph, ampersand is same document. If you don't put any connector, you are, you're telling Lexus, give it to me all in the same document. Why I, what I would suggest doing is always doing backslash S and usually limiting it to like three or four words. Here I would do drunk backslash S driving, backslash S influence, driving under the influence, and then backslash S keys. What, uh, what is the importance of the keys, right? So I want a sentence from Lexus that says, when determining whether you are driving under the drunk, uh, you know, driving under the influence statute, the presentation of the keys are important to note, you know, blank, right? Like I want to find a sentence that has these words in it. And when I'm limiting it to just that, you can sort of like cheat the system. Like I said before, like if you did element conspiracy, you would want a sentence that says, what are the elements of conspiracy? If you put burden conspiracy, the burden of proof for conspiracy is on so-and-so. Um, uh, standard, the standard of law for equal protection is blank. So it's a really easy way to get a particular sentence that's there. I personally do everything backslash S. I would rather get no results than a million results because that way I know that I'm on the right path. If backslash S doesn't work, I expand it to backslash P. And even like thinking about it a little bit, like if I went driving under the influence under the same, um, you know, in the same sentence, maybe keys is in a section later on. So I might go paragraph because keys are important, but maybe not in the same section. Same with passenger seat, right? And then if all else fails, I'll put the ampersand, but I don't like doing that. So I go backslash S three or four words, Again, look at it not like what are the problems in my hypothetical, but more along the lines of like, what sentences do I want out of this case law? I want driving, influence, control, keys, right? Those are the sentences that I want. That's what I want from there. 
The other one that's important is a root expander. It is the use of an exclamation point to get more variations of a word. If you put in driving, Lexus will only give you driving. So if you put D-R-I-V exclamation point, you get driving, driven, driver, drive, drivers, whatever, right? So I use it on all nouns to include every plural version of it and all verbs. The key thing there is you don't put driving exclamation point. You put the exclamation point after the letter where all the other versions are there. So liability would be L-I-A-B exclamation point, getting liable. Right, all, all those kind of things. It's a really easy way. Uh, I'm a bad speller, right? You may have noticed from these PowerPoint slides. If you're not sure how to spell something, it's an easy way to, to kind of fill in the gaps, so to speak. And it's a really easy way to sort of make sure you're not being limited too much. Like keys, I would put key to include key in the ignition or your general keys. It's a really easy way to kind of expand it from there. And then finally, quotation marks. If you want to have words in a certain order, it's a good way to put them in quotation marks to go from there. Now, don't overuse this. I would only use it for very specific statutes or phrases. Like I would use search and seizure or Fourth Amendment. I wouldn't use passenger seat or control of the vehicle because again, Lexus being a dumb computer only gives it what you ask it for. So instead of saying control of the vehicle, why wouldn't you put control exclamation point for controlled controlling same sentence as vehicle uh, exclamation point for vehicles or vehicle. So that way, instead of that very specific section of sentences, you're getting in a lot of different ways. I personally only use it for statutes if I'm looking for a very particular thing. Even search and seizure. Would it be better to go search same sentence seizure just in case something's been written differently? So it's a really easy way to go from there. And, and the key thing being is that these search terms are hard. It's a difficult system to really put together. So practicing and noticing where you're going and where the problems are are really key. The main thing I would note is look at this thing first. So word, connector, word, and not giving too many. And if you're getting no results, it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just maybe means that you're sort of close but not totally right. So again, Lexus is a dumb computer that is not going to help you. It's not like Google that will fill in the gaps for you. So be vigilant with your answers. Incorporate all these questions and I think you'll be just fine. The final uh, step here is an obvious one. Read through the materials. Make sure that when you found something, you're noting where those words are. I've used the control find button. It's the where you, if you control an F, you'll be able to find a word. If Lexus Advanced doesn't highlight those words, note that if your words came up in an opinion, they came up for a reason. So making sure that you're eliminating certain words from your search string that could get bad results, I think is a really easy way to sort of limit things. Because again, it's not just using Lexus, it's using it effectively. And that's the key that we're trying to get to here. Thank you guys very much for listening. Uh, if you guys are interested in other YouTube videos, you can search my name and they're available there. You can also go to my podcast, which is Citizen's Guide to the Supreme Court. It's located on iTunes or just Googling it should be able to find it. Thank you guys very much for listening. I'll talk to you guys soon.